Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please use my channel Hi, and a big welcome. My name is Teresa and I'm starting the vlog a bit late. Like this, <laughs> I need to tell you guys about my life. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I have a bunch of laundry that needs to be folded that's sitting on the couch that I'm hopefully going to do tonight. My kitchen is one hell of a mess and my lips look grey. I don't know. I need to put Vaseline on but it's in the car. Um... <laughs> I need to put Vaseline on, but it's in the car. Um, what should I call it? Okay, so it's 20 past 2 now, and I'm getting ready to head out to class, but my class is only in an hour and, like, 10 minutes. Um, I just need to, like, I'm packing my bag as I'm speaking to you guys. I just need to stop by Turkcell, um, which is, like, the SIM card that I use. Um, and, because they... Like, they give you three months to do something. It's like, I don't know. The way I'm understanding it, it's like a Rika system where, you know, like the Rika. So they give you three months from the time you land here. I need car keys. <sighs> they give you three months from the time you land here. I need a school bag. I don't have a school bag. And I was trying to get a bottle of water, but it's okay. Anyway, um, they give you three months from the time you land to go to the offices and kind of like register your number or like activate it or whatever. And then after those three months, they deactivate. After those three months, they deactivate your. Why am I lips so white? After those three months, they deactivate your. What do you call this? They deactivate your. My guy, I can't concentrate. Okay, let me put you guys here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so after three months, they deactivate your your SIM card. But I waited those three months. I think mine got deactivated after like four months, I want to say. Yeah, got deactivated like after four months. So I just assumed that like because um, my phone, I got like a new phone when I got here. I assume that because I got a new phone when I got here that it's okay because I heard something about it's only if your phone is bought outside the country or whatever. So, um, yeah, I have to go do that because my number got deactivated so I just need to go reactivate it again. Um, and yeah, I just have to go reactivate it um, right now and before class so that is why i'm leaving like an hour before um before class starts so that i can do that and then what else do we have to do today we have to um what you call this i need to go grocery shopping like you guys are like skew wait uh, wait what you guys will like skew. Anyway, I have to reactivate. I mean, I need to go to grocery shopping. I need to do my laundry, like fold it, um, and also do a whole new load. Like I, I feel like I live in a house with like ten people because I have to do laundry like all the time. Um, and then I also have to. I also want to bake today. Like I, I'm really craving my mom's cookies, like cookies and tea, like the gugu. Um. <laughs> Not like biscuits or whatever, but the cuckoo. Um, so yeah, I also want to do that today. Um, yeah. Um, the main reason why I don't really need like my SIM card to be working. The main reason why though, um, uh, is because when they call for car service, they're gonna be calling the, my number, but um, they won't be able to reach me if it's not working or anything like that. My lips are still pretty white or off color anyway that's what we're doing so i'm gonna drive there um and then um check in with you guys like i don't know when but sometime and my eyebrows are just like yeah also it's been very difficult for me to wake up like i like set an alarm for like eight but like i wake up at like 11 30 and then i want to take a nap at like one like boy like like boy <laughs> like i'm not saying like being pregnant in college is not doable or it's wrong or anything like that but what i'm saying is that i understand why they say there's a time for everything 
and this should have just been my college time and then be done granted i've been studying for like six years so like honestly like it was just taking too long um but yeah i'll check in with you guys later Ooh, okay guys um it is i literally should be heading to class now i'm like holding you guys because i'm holding the camera because from this angle the lighting is just weird where i'm parked and there's literally no parking like there's zero parking at school like there's no parking at all and the lighting is just coming from like all different directions um or oh, actually from behind me but like to the, the side if that makes sense anyway this is not about lighting so i managed to go to turksal and try fix my sim card but they told me that my number is blocked obviously because i knew that um but that they can't reactivate it ever like the numbers just gone so they can't reactivate it and then i asked them to give me the same number with the new sim card like you know back home we can do like sim swap type of thing they don't do that at all like she genuinely was like nope we can't do that that's impossible the number's gone like it's gone gone i'm like it's gone gone she's like it's gone gone my honey um so she gave me a new number so i have to like i think it's just the car though that i have to like call and change the number on the um in the books and stuff um what else I think that's just it with the hospital. Um, I, j I can speak to my doctor directly. Um, so I think it's just that, that where I have to change my number. That's oh, and my permit stuff where I have to change my number. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting for like an hour for it to be activated and stuff like that, which is cool. The main reason why I need a number is because of car service. Um, like service for the car like when they need to service it as well as like my boyfriend is out of the country so it's just easier for me to have a number where he can call me on and i can call him on his number so um yeah that's what we're doing um i have statistics now i don't this is my first time going to statistics on a wednesday i never make this class because i'm always at home filming or doing something i always miss this class i'm able to miss more classes than um the normal person like a normal person because i'm taking seven courses and not five a and b i have a doctor's note that has put me on bed rest so i can miss classes like throughout the semester like to my own discretion basically um so i've never been to this class um so yeah we're gonna go to the wednesday statistics class right now and it's an hour long and then afterwards we're gonna go grocery shopping and then home and then clean put the groceries away um and hopefully start like getting back into school mode this is my first time back at school since midterms midterms ended last week wednesday um so i, I want to get back into school mode making notes and stuff like that for finals because finals then is like four weeks away i'm guessing four or five weeks away maybe not even make notes but like just you know i don't know i feel like i need to study or something i don't know but anyway um i'll catch you guys like at the grocery store or at home or whenever i feel like talking to you guys again I'm back home um it is pretty it's not late it's 6 30 um i got takeout to eat because i knew i was just not going to what what do you call this going to be able to cook or anything like that because i'm out of energy i sat in a whole bunch of traffic a eh? um and I also stopped by like a baby store and I ended up buying baby things. <laughs> but I can't show you guys the baby stuff because it's 
by now I know the gender and <laughs> it, it kind of reveals the gender um, but it's like um, this organic range and really really love it so I got a few things there and then I went to the grocery store and I got like a few things I'm gonna do a haul for you guys and then close off this video um, yeah and then close off this video and watch some TV by the time I'm done with the haul I'm hoping cuz I hate not eating without watching skim sum I don't know why but like it's always a thing that I have to watch skim sum um, so I'm going to do the haul and by the time I'm done with the haul I'm hoping that skim sum will be available on YouTube um, and then I can eat and watch that and then kind of clean up a bit and stuff Okay, this is what I was wearing today. Oh, this is what I was wearing today. This is how I look. Um, it is, it's kind of cold. I don't know. This is just what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of cold today. So I just threw on this because I do get it really hot. But I hate being cold too. But anyway, let me show you guys what's been going on. What I got. Okay, so I got some iced tea. Um, I got two flavors. I got this is not like a full grocery thing. I'm gonna go fully like like next week. Um, but I got things to like stock up the fridge a bit. Um, so I got fused tea, um, iced tea, mango and ananas. This is like my favorite favorite flavor. Um, but since I've been pregnant, it's been giving me an aftertaste. <laughs> So, um, the lemon one is just more satisfying now that I'm pregnant, I guess. And then, I don't know why I did this. I got this bread. It's so fresh. It's made daily. Um, and it's, like, very fresh and it's so good. They're very good with, like, carbs, yeah, like bread, pasta, obviously. But it's so good. But it goes, like, stale in a day. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I'm exhausted. So I don't know why I bought that because I'm not going to eat that tonight. Um, I also got cold meat. I'm trying like a whole different bunch because they're not very good at like ham um, and stuff like that. Because um, obviously they it's a Muslim country so they don't eat that. So they're not really good at that. But I really have been craving some ham and cheese toaster sandwiches. Um, I don't even have a toaster so I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to do that. Probably use the oven or something um or pan or the pan <laughs> yeah i got that um i got some cucumbers i got three this is probably gonna this is three servings the cucumbers are like so ripe but um i got three of these um it's probably three to six servings or three to five servings for me got some avos as well i've been loving avos but they're not ripe at all. They're not ready to eat right now. Um, they'll be ready to eat in like a week and a half to two weeks. Like if we leave them out. So I make sure I always get avos so that I have them out. So they are ripening. And I've got a can of tomato. Can of tomato because um, I use this for mince. And like oxtail and beef stew those kind of things and i eat that like maybe three times twice a week oh okay so now for the last bag like i'm so sorry like my energy is so low but like my my guy so i got like these noodle pots um these come in handy because i wake up at like 3 a.m or at like midnight and i have to eat by then and then I t like sleep again because like baby's starving <laughs> at that time. Um, so these are just so easy. Put boiling water, you put in the sachet and then you just leave it for like two minutes and then it's cooked and stuff like that. And it's a chicken flavor. I love chicken flavored noodles. That's the only flavor I love. I got six of these ruffles because I really like the flavor, I like the whole tomato really like i'm digging the flavor and i need snacks i have like a bunch of um popcorn but i don't know i'm not gra gravitating to those this week so i'm eating like a whole bunch of ruffles um and i feel like i'm just gonna take the whole pack and like go to school and keep it in the car type of thing um 
So yeah, snacks come in handy. Um, and then I've got like this yogurt. This yogurt, I've been complaining that it goes off. Like it literally goes off in three days, two days. And this is like the smallest container they have. So I end up like having to throw a whole bunch of it away. But I don't even know where the focus is at this point. But it is amazing for smoothies it's so rich in flavor so rich in um probiotics as well it's just very it's very rich and i think it's a very turkish thing it's just a turkish thing like it's not like your normal yogurt it's almost like iran but in yogurt form and iran is like a rich probiotic yogurt drink type of thing yeah i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> Um, and then I also got mints because I was out of mints. Um, I think I was out of mints. I'm, I'm hoping I'm out of mints because if I'm not, I'm just going to die. Um, <laughs> so I got mints because I'm out of mints. And um, I love the Anchor, Anchor cheese and I just got the Gouda cheese. But it's been tasting very bitter to me these days. So I don't know. But I got this for the toast, but not the toast that I'm going to be doing. Oh, someone is calling me. Okay, someone is calling me. I need to go. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna watch some TV. Oh, it's my mom that's calling me, and she's been calling me like like for a couple of hours. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna eat and probably kind of clean up a little bit and pack these things away, and I'll see you guys. Um. This video is going to go up on Friday, so by the time I see you guys, it's going to be Sunday and it's going to be Vlogmas. So I'm very excited for that. I have a whole, a whole bunch of work to do for that, like behind the scenes work. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I don't know what's happening with my lips because I have that sleeve and they're very much moisturized. But this is how my lips were in my first trimester as well, so pregnancy stuff um i'm starving i need to pee my mom's calling me so i'll see you guys <laughs> um on sunday bye